this is, this is a, a club for the entire Kal Yisrael. Because anybody who needed anything, anybody, it was an open door to every problem in the world. And Shlomo was with an open hand. He was available to anybody's tourist problems, whatever he can help a fellow Jew. Anybody. And this is a big loss for, for Kal Yisrael. And we hope, and I'm sure he's going to go straight to Gnaid. There's no words to say, it's just a tragic day for Carl Yisrael, that's a tragic day for all of us. Men, women, children, thousands of kids that he helped, the Chaylak line and other non-profits, were just speechless and as Hashem bring salvation and achdus on Carl Yisrael. I want to speak as a Malamit, I'm a Rebbe, Yeshivas. I wasn't involved in many of Shlomo's Chassadim. I knew him family man, someone who came to Shiurim, someone who asked Aitzis, near Shilas. Shlomo taught us that even if a person doesn't fit the mold, even if a person is not someone who's kaifis on to learn 10-12 hours a day, he has to look to the Rabbi Yishalayim and find how he could serve the Rabbi Yishalayim. For the years that I knew Shlomo, the last 20-25 years, that was his life. His life was serving the Bari Yailam, serving the Yidin who found themselves in unfortunate circumstances. That's his praise, that's his shvach. His wife shalom gave chizit to the family. It was Hela the mother. And the chizit is not just from the generations. Shlomo, he went up to Shemaim or Rosh Hashanah on the Yom Adin. He was full of love for Clarence. He didn't bear the God to hate anybody. He can say that with the godly person. So both feet on the ground so practical. But he was a godly person. A person whose life was full of wilderness, full of caring for Clarice Lord, and, 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 and so much as she was left. Shlomo was a good mother. The Rambam says, tell us some of the stories about Leif, Kohol, Kaladas, Yisrael, every individual. He was a true king. He lived like a king. He died like a king. A very quiet, quiet giant. He left with a family singing in Rosh Hashanah in the sun and take it. In the sun and take it. You're going to say, people get to sing. You're going to be a savior. You're going to be a savior. You're going to be a savior. There was a casino. There was a casino. And the casino was. Let me show them a lot. What's something special in this world? Let me bring you somebody who can both cover chesed, stoka, taiva, who is chesed, be a full mushroom public. The negotiation, in this case, with his mother, 
for his wife, for his siblings, for his whole family, for Gaisi Kalatsa, for Claudia Israel. We don't have to ask because in his life, he thought about everyone, felt for everyone, and mentioned to his mother, Sasangas of Mishtar. There's a Yiddish saying that it's someone who's beloved by all, it's a Mishtar and Mishtar and Mishtar and Mishtar and That's what he wants. The only time he ever saw him stand was if he couldn't give somebody a job. I remember I sat with him with Deborah Ryan and he wanted to start a hospital. He said to Deborah Ryan and Deborah Ryan and I made a headband on that bed. I believe that the only reason I want to make this hospital, I don't think you'll believe me, is because I want to give people jobs. That's it. Tommy was the not he was the sponsor for the first health of Rechesa Shalomis in Long Island. Rechesa Shalomis was looking for Isaac Chaim to bury the Maisa Mitzvah. Shlomo came forward and sponsored before the first cemetery, the first Isaac Chaim for Rechesa Shalomis. <laughs> 